a survey of 150 traders in the market shows that 90 of them sell cassava, 70 sell maize, and 80 sell yam. Also, 26 sell cassava and maize, 30 sell cassava and yam, and 40 sell yam and maize. Each of the traders sells at least one of these crops. I represent the information on the Venn diagram. I, I find the number of traders who sell all the three food crops. And I, 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 how many of the traders sell one food crop only? This is a three set problem. So we have been told that there are 150 traders in the market and 90 of them sell cassava, 70 sell maize and 80 sell yam. Let's draw the Venn diagram. This is the rectangle to represent the universal set. That's the number of traders in the market. We have been told that there are 150. So the number of members in the universal set U is 150. The question tells us that 90 of them sell cassava, 70 sell maize, and 80 sell yam. So I'll draw my three intersecting circles here. Let's say that the first one is for cassava. So the number of people who sell cassava is equal to 90, as we can see from the question. I'll use the second one for maize. It says that 70 sell maize. So the number of people who sell maize is equal to 70. And then the last one is for yam. The number of people who sell yam is 80. So the number of people who sell yam is equal to 80. I used C for cassava, M for maize, and Y for yam. Let's continue. It says that 26 sell cassava and maize. So the number of people who sell cassava and maize is 26. 30 sell cassava and yam and 40 sell yam and maize. We don't know the number of people who sell all the three crops. So let's assume that the number of people who sell all the three crops is X. And so the intersection of the three sets will be X. Now with this as X, we can find the number of people who sell cassava and maize only, the number of people who sell cassava and yam only, and the number of people who sell maize and yam only. The question says that 26 sell cassava and maize. So if 26 sell cassava and maize, and the number of people who sell all the three crops is X, then those who sell cassava and maize only will be 26 minus X. In the same way, if 30 sell cassava and yam, and the number of people who sell all the three crops is X, then the number of people who sell cassava and yam only will be 30 minus X. And the question tells us that 40 sell yam and maize. If 40 sell yam and maize, and the number of people who sell all the three crops is X, then the number of people who sell yam and maize only will be 40 minus x. We don't know the number of people who sell cassava only, the number of people who sell maize only, and the number of people who sell yam only. I'm going to use a to represent the number of people who sell cassava only, b to represent the number of people who sell maize only, and c to represent the number of people who sell yam only. The question tells us that each of the traders sell at least one of the three crops. This means that every trader in the market sells something. And so C union M union Y complement is zero. So you indicate that here to be zero. Now we will have to solve the sets one after the other so that we can find A, B, and C in terms of X. Let's begin with the first one. So let's begin with set C. Let's solve set C. This is set C. 
the number of people who sell cassava is 90. And so it means that if we add everything in set C, we should get 90. And so you have 90 is equal to A plus 26 minus X plus X plus 30 minus X. Negative X and X will cancel. Negative X plus X will give us zero. And so we'll be left with 90 is equal to A plus 26 plus 30 will give us 56 minus x we want to find a and so i'll bring both x and 56 to the left hand side and we will have 90 minus 56 plus x is equal to a 90 minus 56 will give us 34 and so you have 34 plus x is equal to a and so it means that we can replace A with 34 plus X. And so that is what I'm going to do. You can replace A with 34 plus X. We move on to set M. I'm going to clean what we have here so that you can move on to set M. The number of people who sell maize is 70. So it means that if we add everything in set M, we should get 70. So you have 70 is equal to B plus 26 minus X plus X plus 40 minus X. Negative X and positive X will give us zero. And so we'll be left with 70 is equal to B plus 26 plus 40 will give us 66 so we will, we will have b plus 66 minus x we want to find b and so i'll send 66 and negative x to the left hand side and that will be 70 minus 66 plus x is equal to b 70 minus 66 will give us 4 and so we will have 4 plus x is equal to b it means that we can replace b with 4 plus x and i'm going to do that b is now 4 plus x let's move on to set y i'm going to clean what we have here the number of people who sell yam is 80 and so if we add everything in set y we should get 80. so you have 80 is equal to 30 minus x plus x plus 40 minus x plus c negative x and positive x will be gone and so we'll be left with 80 is equal to 30 plus 40 is 70 so 70 minus x plus c we want to find c so i'll send both 70 and x to the left hand side and that will be 80 minus 70 plus x is equal to c 80 minus 70 will give us 10. So we have 10 plus X is equal to C. So it means that we can replace C with 10 plus X. C is now 10 plus X. So as you can see, we now have everything in the Venn diagram in terms of X. We can add everything together and equate it to the universal set, which is 150. And so let's do that. I'm going to clean this so that we can continue here. Let's start with 34 plus X. So we have 34 plus X plus, we move on to 26 minus X. 26 minus X plus, we move on to 4 plus X. 4 plus X, then we come to 30 minus X. So plus 30 minus x we come to x plus x plus let's go to 40 minus x so we have 40 minus x plus we have 10 10 plus x and then the last one here is zero so plus zero and this will be equal to the universal set which is 150 
So we add everything together and equate it to 150. We have x here and we have negative x here. So x minus x will give us 0. Another x minus x will give us 0. Another x minus x will give us 0. So we are left with 1x here. So we have x plus, let's now add the numbers. The first one is 34. So we have 34 plus 26 plus 4 plus 30 plus 40 plus 10 plus the last one which is 0. It doesn't make any difference. So plus 0 and that will give us 144. And this is equal to 150. So to get x, our uh, x will be equal to 150 minus 144, and that will give us 6. So x is now 6. With x as 6, we can find the number of traders that belongs to every region in the Venn diagram because we have all of them in terms of x. So let's begin with the first one. So let's begin with the first one. The first one is 34 plus x. x is now 6. So it will be 34 plus 6, which will give us 40. I'm going to use a blue color so that you can see the difference. The next one is 26 minus x. x is now 6. And so you have 26 minus 6, which is 20. The next one is 4 plus x x is now 6 so we have 4 plus 6 which is 10 the next one is 30 minus x x is now 6 so 30 minus 6 will give us 24 the next one is x we have found out to be 6 so we have that here the one after it is 40 minus x x is now 6 so we have 40 minus 6 and that will give us 34 and the last one is 10 plus x. x is now 6. And so 10 plus x will give us 16. Now let's use the Venn diagram to answer the second and third part of the question. The second part of the question says that find the number of traders who sell all the three food crops. The number of traders who sell all the three food crops will be x. And we have found x to be 6. So it means that 6 traders sell all the three food crops then the third part is that how many of the traders sell only one food crop so you want the number of traders who sell only one food crop the number of traders who sell only one food crop will be the number of traders who sell only cassava only maize and only yam as we can see from our Venn diagram, the number of traders who sell only cassava is 40. The number of traders who sell only maize is 10. And the number of traders who sell only yam is 16. If we add 10 to 40, when we add 40 to 10 to 16, we are going to have 66. So what it means is that 66 traders sell only one food crop.